Okay, so there's a new line out today from the Russiagate conspiracy theorists at a, over at CNN, MSNBC, and all over Twitter. Seeing as how the Mueller report, which they pay, played up for two years, was so disappointing for him and ended in uh, zero indictments against Trump or his family, they've decided that, well, there's obviously going to be some evidence of there of Trump doing bad things. And while there's probably no evidence, even they admit, of collusion with Russia and that that whole thing was just a made-up story – uh, there is probably evidence, according to them, that Trump tried to, in some way, obstruct the investigation. Now, of course, there wasn't enough evidence for Trump to be indicted on anything because he wasn't indicted on anything. But they claim, whoa, 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 there's probably enough for us to impeach him. I mean, talk about grasping at straws. They've done a complete 180 uh, from just earlier this week when they were talking about, oh, Trump's going to get you know, kicked out, he's going to be indicted, he's going to have all these things against him, he's going to be, he's going to rot, and he's going to die in jail, he's Putin's puppet, all this stuff, all that's completely out the window, and these people are, are taking no time to reflect on that, they have, they seem completely uh, unfazed that their whole narrative of Trump being a Russian puppet, which they've touted for two years, uh, that that just went up in smoke, nobody cares. I mean, they're all acting like they never believed it to begin with. They're saying, well, yeah, of course he wasn't a Russian puppet, but I mean, hey, he's a bad guy. I mean, were they all grifters to that extent? I mean, did they all know the whole time that Trump really wasn't a Russian agent, that they were just, you know, throwing out uh, BS to try and get ratings? Because I feel like if I were in one of their positions, because I mean, I have to think that some of them actually believe that Trump was a Russian agent. I mean, wouldn't you have to do some reflecting after finding out, after touting him as a Russian agent for two years and finding out that he was guilty of none of that? How do you just move on within seconds and just start going, oh, well, we can still impeach him? And it's like, well, what do you need to impeach him for if he's not a you know, foreign agent, as you said? You told all of us he was a Russian spy. So now why are you going to impeach him? Just because you don't like him? Just because orange man bad? And of course, the claim is, is that, well, Trump obstructed the investigation, even though he didn't obstruct it enough to warrant prosecution. He still probably did a little obstructing, and that's enough to impeach him. And, you know, if that's their case, well... Why would he try to obstruct an investigation that he knew was nonsense because he knew that he did not, that he was not a Russian spy? Why would Trump fire Mueller as they had, you know, theorized that he would because, you know, Mueller was going to put him away. And so Trump had to fire Mueller in order to keep, uh, keep his freedom and to stop from going to jail. Why would Trump fire Mueller if he knew that he wasn't a Russian spy? Because obviously this would have been what would happen at the end. Mueller would put out this big report stating how Trump is totally clean. It would be a huge victory for him and a huge loss for the media. Not to mention that the entire narrative of the 2020 campaign now is completely destroyed because for two years, uh, the media and uh, Democrats have been pushing the line that Trump was a traitor and he's got to go. Well, what's going to be their line now? I, I mean, Trump's not a traitor anymore. That's two years of narrative building that is completely out the window. They have to completely start over on their 2020 campaign. And I know these people on CNN are absolutely dreaming when they say that, oh, we can still impeach Trump. No, absolutely not. And Nancy Pelosi knows that she can't impeach Trump. That's why she hasn't tried. Uh, Pelosi uh, went went ahead and covered herself and said, uh, I'm only going to move forward with, with impeachment if it's a bipartisan effort. And obviously that'd be the only reason to go forward with impeachment because it takes two thirds of the Senate. That means you're going to need like you know, 20 Republicans uh, to vote for impeachment of the president in order to actually get him out of office. Because you don't want to try and impeach a president and then fail, because look at what happened to Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton's approval ratings were never higher than after the failure to impeach him. Pelosi was around in those days. She remembers how how uh, stupid of it, uh, it was for the Republicans to try and impeach Clinton and then fail. They looked like idiots. Pelosi will not let that become her. So the Democrats are not going to get their impeachment that they want so badly right now unless for some reason Trump's approval rating tanks. And there's actually a good reason why that might happen. The S&P 500 has hit the uh, 2800 uh, resistance level for the fifth time now in a row or it might be the sixth time now, we're hovering right around 2,800, and it's pretty clear that the market cannot make it over 2,800. That means that there is nowhere, there's no upside left in the stock market. The only way that this market can move is down. And of course, because the Fed built this whole economic recovery after 2008 on the back of the stock market, if the stock market goes down, you're going to see the rest of the economy go with it. And of course, if that happens, then the Democrats will be able to try and blame Trump uh, and impeach him then as, you know, saying, oh, you destroyed the economy or some nonsense, even though really the 
any given president doesn't have much control over the economy. But if they are successful and Trump's approval ratings get down into the 20s, they may be able to impeach him, and then, of course, they'd be running against Mike Pence. Mike Pence is very much a Gerald Ford type of politician in that uh, he has that unassuming Midwestern appeal, i.e. he's the complete opposite of Trump and is really no replacement for him in an election. However, if Trump is impeached, that may fire up his base enough to get out and try and support uh, Pence to stick it to the Dems who kicked Trump out of office. But really, that's far too uh, unlikely of a scenario at this point to consider, because frankly, even if the uh, – well, when the economy goes down, which should be before the 2020 election, I think Trump has done a good job setting the groundwork of blaming the Fed uh, for the wrong reasons. Now, it is the Fed's fault, but Trump is blaming them for doing the wrong thing. But nevertheless, he's at least laid some groundwork to cover his tracks so that he can blame the Fed and not himself. And if he's able to do that convincingly, well, I certainly think the base will believe him. And if he gets enough people fired up uh, who do believe him, then I think that he may still be able to pull out a win. He could sort of come up with like a lost cause narrative to where saying, you know, oh, we had such a great economy because of me, which of course it wasn't because of him. But you could say, oh, things were so great because of me. And then the Fed came along and destroyed it because they're a bunch of deep state hacks. Now, that's about a half truth. It is true that the Fed is a bunch of deep state hacks and that they destroyed the economy, but it had – but Trump had nothing to do with making it you know, all that better except for improving optimism, which you can give him credit there. He certainly improved optimism uh, amongst business owners and on the stock market, so people were more willing to invest and buy stocks. But the re there was no real reason uh, that the economy was doing better under Trump. Yeah, so that's about it. The impeachment drums are beaten, but I don't think that they're – I think they're just making a bunch of noise at this point. Um, if you got anything of value out of this video, I'd appreciate you clicking that like button and subscribing because I do upload every day, and I hope to see you all tomorrow.